Hey what up everyone this is Mondo all day back with another video and in this video I'll be doing a build guide for Ghost Rider. I'll be going over which artifacts they use, which medallion insignia, as well as go over the powers, talents and traits, the hero synergies, and at the very end show you my rotation and give you some tips and pointers as far as how I was able to pass Cosmic Trial with Ghost Rider. Uh, again, this is a, my Ghost Rider build guide without using any infinity points so let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to look at are the artifacts. So the first artifact is um, Sinister's Diamond. Um, what this grants me is when you hit with an area power, gain critical damage rating and one plus um, energy. When you hit with a mental power, gain brutal damage rating and one intelligence. And also the defense rating um, is increased as well too. But also two, if both area mental procs are active at the same time, gain one to all attributes for 10 seconds. This is really good because he is both um, mental he has mental damage and he has a lot of area and what is it? Is it mental and area damage? So this is really good. And most likely when you activate some of his powers, you're gonna activate this proc which grants you plus one to all attributes, which is really really good. Next is Ultra B um Ultron by level concussion projector. I mentioned it's for the brutal damage rating and the plus two strength since um Coast Rider is strength and energy base. Um, this is attribute, so this is a really good one because again, the strength and the brutal damage rating, and also damage rating versus enemies with slow status. So, nothing too crazy. Then for the medallion, I'm using Scroll X Men Medallion. I'm using this for the power duration increase, plus one energy and health increase, as well as when you with an area power harness the power of Cyclops, which grants you area damage increase, and when you with a mental power. Um, harness the power of Psylocke, which grants you mental damage increase. Again, which is really good because he does have um, he has mental damage and he has a lot of area damage as well too. So again, most likely he's going to be activating that. And obviously, when both um, effects are active, you gain plus two fighting, so which is really good. Next is Crossbone Teaching Credentials. I'm using this for the Critical Crit rating increase, Brutal Strike rating increase, plus three energy, um, damage rating increase to melee and range. And when you critically hit, gain 590 Pudu damage for 5 seconds, sacks with 3 times, which is really good. This is a, a hybrid build, which is melee and range, and mental damage and physical damage. So again, this is really perfect for him, for especially especially for this build, because he is melee and range. So Next is Shield Metal, uh, Metal Valor. I'm using this for the critical damage, uh, critical damage rating increase, plus 2 speed, not so much that, but for the damage rating increase, critical hit rating increase. Deflect rating increase and plus two strength because I mentioned he has uh, strength and energy, so the speed is a bit irrelevant, but nothing wrong with having extra uh, attributes. And then for the relic, I had um, relic of the uh, gibberum. Again, you don't have to use this. I had this on since I first started playing with Marvel Heroes back in 2015 or 14, or whatever. So I didn't. You don't. You don't have to use this, but maybe yeah. For the, uh, for the Forge, 800 Defense, and I have a Bless to where I gain plus 1 Strength, uh, Damage Rating Increase to Melee Powers, Attack Speed Increase as well too. So this is an okay Blessing, it's probably not the best. The Blessing that I would use is possibly Dupe, which grants me, or if you do with a Mental, um, when you hit with a Mental Power, you, you gain, uh, I don't know exactly the amount, but you either increase your Brutal Damage, or Critical Damage, or Damage Rating, so. Again, I would use a Blessing, a Dupe Blessing, as opposed to this, but this is what I use for the... Cosmic Draw. Uh, then I use Power Cosmic. I'm using this for the health increase. When you with a physical or energy power, gain mental damage increase. When you with a physical mental, increase your damage, which is irrelevant. Uh, when you hit with uh, physical damage, or you hit with energy or mental or physical power, gain one attribute, one plus one to all attributes for 10 seconds. Sacks up to three times when you hit per type of damage. So meaning that if I hit I've hit with a mental and physical damage. I'll gain plus two to plus two to all attributes. So if I had a physical, mental, and energy, I would do plus three. But since this is physical, mental, that's all I get plus two. So can, this is really really good because it kind of it counterbalances um, the damage because he's mental and physical. So I'm always going to be using both mental, physical, which is going to increase my damage tremendously. So this is why I use this. I'm I'm not, I'm not too sure if they have a legendary eighty power cosmic. Which I think they should, but I don't think they do. So then I use Industrial City Ring. I'm using this for the critical damage increase, critical rating to mental attacks, attack speed 
increase to mental powers, health increase as well too. When you hit with that mental power gain, uh, 149 damage rating for 10 seconds, which again is really, really good for his mental powers. Um, I would probably use a different ring. This is not a bad ring, but I would use something else because this is only helping out mental powers. I would prefer to use some items that help out both mental and physical. But one of the main reasons I'm using a lot of physical um, attributes is, I mean, not attribute, but um, item is because of his signature. Signature does um, mental damage, so I want to increase the damage for the, for the signature. But again, you can use this ring, but I would probably use something else that that can benefit both physical and mental da um, powers. And for the leg um, for the uniques, excuse me, I'm using all of Ghost Rider's uniques. As you can see here, these are all his uniques for the costume. Um, Ghost Rider, what if, Fantastic Four costume for the catalyst. I have it to where I gain 418 health when you hit, physical damage rating increase, energy damage rating increase, which is irrelevant, and plus three energy, which is good. Cosmic, gain shield equal to 50% of your maximum health when you use a medkit, which is not, which is pretty good. Crafted affixes, critical damage rating as always. Mystical bonus, 10% chance when you are hit to regenerate 500 health. Two second cooldown, which is good. And of course, it has the defense rating increase, which is 1000, which is really good. And for Insignia, I'm using Insignia of Juggernaut. Um, when you hit with any power, you and your allies gain the Sidorak Avatar, which increases your melee damage rating, uh, plus 72 tenac uh, tenacity, which I believe is auto. Something else and defense for eight seconds, which again this is probably not the best insignia, but I'm using this for the critical damage increase, critical damage rating increase, and brutal damage rating increase. So in terms of what this offers, it's not the best, but I do like the critical damage and brutal damage. So keep that in mind. And for the pet, I have it to where I take two percent less damage from enemy airy powers, um, critical damage increase, and plus three energy. And for team up, I am using Doctor Strange. So for the powers, top to bottom, left to right, I'm using, uh, no, not this one, sorry, nope, Hellfire, then Burn, the Treads, nope, um, Inferno, Judgment, Health from Above, Flay, and obviously, Penance Stare, which is a signature. Again, I'll go over the talents and traits in a bit. Infinity new points, none were used. Heroes Energies, uh, Cable for the Critical Hit rating, uh, critical hit multi rating Multiplier, Colossus for the Health Increase and Physical Damage Rating Increase, Doctor Doom for the Signature Power Damage Increase, M Doctor Strange for the Mental Damage Increase, Ghost Rider for the critical hit rating to mental powers increase. Hawkeye for the move speed and critical damage increase. Sawlock for the mental damage and physical damage rating increase. Rogue for health on hit and plus one spirit increase. Winter Soldier for the range and melee power damage increase. And then Wolverine for the brutal strike and brutal damage rating increase. Now let's get into the talents and traits. So the first row. The talents I use is Rings of Fire. So what this does is Inferno summons an additional area directly underneath you. Inferno is this power right here. So when you have this talent on, it um, it creates, or without it, I'll show you what it looks like. So Inferno creates a, a lot of area, and you want to see how it looks like. So this is Inferno. Just have it on. Let's have it off. Not bad. We see how there's two. So when you have this talent on, it creates not one where your plate. Not only does it create one um, inferno wherever you place it, but also creates one underneath you. So right now I have this off. So when I activate it, see. But when I have it on, it creates one one underneath me and where I place it. Okay. But while standing, inferno's area effect health is regenerated by three percent of maximum health per second and defense rating. In Multiplier plus ten percent. So again, this is really good because it, it I know it is a, some an additional inferno underneath you, but also too, if you are within the inferno area, you regenerate three percent of your max health and defense rating multipliers increase. So it's really good. Hence why I'm using a hybrid, and hence why I'm using this because that way when I do a range attack, I can do that, and I can stay here. I can still regenerate my health and defense rating increase, and so forth. 
Second row is Fires of Vengeance. Mental power damage is increased by 10%. Critical hit chance for mental power is increased by 10%. And hail fire damage is increased by 25%. So I'm using this for obviously for the mental damage, critical hit chance, and they increase, but also for the hell health fire damage it increases as well too, which is am I using oh here we go. Which is his basic I think believe it's basic, yeah. Which is his basic power. So again, it increases the damage, but as I mentioned, his signature is mental damage. So I'm using this mainly to increase the damage and critical hit chance to the signature. But also this else this grants me, you know, 25% extra damage to Hellfire, which is the basic, hence why the range. Next is um, Stunt Master. So burn the threads, damage is increased by 50% and has a cooldown of 8 seconds now. Uh, burn the, the threads is this power right here, which I like a lot because this is also a mental damage power. So it looks like this. Okay. And also two, um, health from the health from above, cooldown is reduced by two seconds, but the damage, uh, well, Inferno Willy does 50% um, damage. So I'm not using Inferno Willy, but you can use that. But health from above, its cooldown is reduced by two seconds. It's really good because it does quite a bit of damage. And it's a physical damage and it does a lot of area. So I'll show you what it looks like. That's health from above. So again, I'm mainly using this for Burn the Treads damage increase, the cooldown, unfortunately has a cooldown of 8 seconds, but also from health from above, health from above cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds. And if you were using Inferno Willy, it'll increase the damage, but to me I'm not using Inferno Willy, so keep that in mind. Oh, actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm confusing with some other power. I, I, I'm using Inferno Willy, which is his uh, movement power, sorry about that. I was confusing with some other power. But, um, so again, so increases the damage to Inferno Willy by 50%, which is pretty good. Um, again, I don't mind ha I don't mind having the extra damage, but Inferno Willy is my movement power. Sorry about that. I was confusing with another power. But anyways, the first row is Infernal Contract. Vengeance transforms into Infernal Contract, which is this right here. Inferno Contract is a buff effect which reduces your max health in exchange for powerful offense benefits so I'm gonna take this off so vengeance which is over here it does terrify and, and you know spirit costs and cooldown but when you activate inferno contract it changes to crit inferno contract which again it reduces your health but you get this buff so what is this buff or inferno contract well inferno contract grants you when it's activated critical hit brutal strike chance plus 10 percent which is good Critical hit and brutal strike rating damage plus 100%, which is really good. Damage bonus increased by 25%. Damage resistance 30%. And above duration is 8 seconds. Maximum health of 50% of normal. And then terrify 2 seconds, cooldown 20 seconds. So again, this is a really, really, really good buff, hence why I'm using this. So it, just, it transforms Vengeance into Infernal Contract, which leads into my... The last row, which is Vengeance Incarnate. Sorry. So, uh, Stair, which is Signature, has execute damage increased by 3% damage per 1% of target's missing health. Meaning that the damage is increased by 3% per 1% of target's missing health. So, if they miss some health, 3% um, is increased by per 1%, which is really good. But I'm mainly using this talent because of the second portion of this talent, which Stair, which is Signature, automatically activates contract so as soon as you activate signature it automatically activates in front of contract which what that means is when you activate signature you're getting that buff of critical chance critical brutal strike damage increase and so forth so to me these two go together very very well and do a lot of damage all right and again that's my talents and traits now in terms of my rotation it's really really simple the first thing I usually do is activate Inferno. That way it's a range power, but also applies Hellfire slash it's burning. So when you activate it and you want to see it, it creates, it does a lot of area damage and it does um, the mental damage and it does burning, which is really, really good. Okay, that's the first thing I do is that. The next thing I do is Judgment. 
and then duty get inferno and then fly just range and then do inferno again and then burn the treads inferno again I think you see the pattern here and then obviously health from above maybe step away and then boom so basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm constantly keeping inferno activated that way the enemy I can do a lot of damage and do you know a lot of area and burning but also too when you activate hellfire I mean um, inferno excuse me you activate this proc here because according to this proc when you with an area power gain critical damage increase and when you with mental power gain brutal damage rating increase and if mental and area procs are activated gain one to all attributes okay that's really really good as soon as you activate inferno I complete those and I start I get this proc not only that scroll x-men medallion when you hit with uh, an area, your area damage is increased. When you hit with the mental power, your mental damage is increased. And both procs are activated, you gain plus two fighting. So hopefully you see what I'm, you know, <laughs> the reason why I chose this uh, this particular artifact and medallion is because right away, Inferno increases my, my attributes. And not only that, when you activate Inferno, The, while, st while standing within Hillfire or in the area, I regenerate health, 3% of my max health, and defense rating multiplier. So, again, as you can see here, increase my, da my defense or damage reduction. As soon as I activate this, I get that proc right away. And so, all I do is literally Inferno. Move away, and then do it again. And then just do my basic hellfire. Once it's available, do it again. Away. And just like that. So again, it's pretty simple rotation. It's all it is is um, use hellfire all the time. But inferno, first thing I do, and then after that, I mentioned after that. It's Judgment, Judgment, and then Inferno, Slay, and then, and then Inferno, and then just keep doing that. And then once their old powers are in cooldown, just keep using Hellfire. But the key thing to this rotation, and again, it's really simple, and I know it's like, wow, that's it. That's all I do. But the key thing is always have Inferno active. That's the key thing. Because it does area damage, it does burn damage, and two, when you keep hitting with Inferno, you gain the proc of this one, and also two scroll X medallion. And I'll show you again, I want you to look at the attributes, and you're going to see that it's going to increase the attributes. Just like that. I can just keep doing more damage if I wanted to. But the key thing is having Inferno active as much as possible, hence why I usually do Inferno, power, Inferno, another power, another power. Inferno and another power in terms of which power to use it doesn't really matter honestly as long as you keep inferno That's the key thing keeping inferno always available and always standing within inferno that way you can You know benefit from this talent which you know regenerate 2% of your max health and defense rating and multiplier and also two It does area damage and then like I mentioned when your powers are in cooldown Just activate hellfire Because hellfire does quite a bit of damage it does quite a bit of damage, and health for mental damage, again, is pretty good. So, again, so it's very, very simple. I know it's the even thing that's it, but that's really it. So, boom. And, and then you can just do Hellfire, and then... And away, and then, boom. Now this is, uh, again, to me, Inferno, especially with this talent here, is very crucial. So if you decided to use something else, like for instance, and this is the reason why I chose that, if you decided to use, let's say you decided to do a, come on, why is it not working? Let's say you decided to use a melee build, and again, use Inferno. That way with Inferno, I mean, that way with Inferno, According to this talent, you regenerate max health and defense rating multipliers increased by 10%. As long as you stay within this area right here. 
But again, I prefer doing range because that is me, and plus I get the benefit of Hellfire damage is increased by 50%, 25%, excuse me, for this talent here. So again, this is just a personal choice. But again, the rotation is really, really simple. Just make sure you have Inferno active as much as possible, and then just keep, and then just do your powers. So again, for me, what I usually do is Hellfire, always Inferno, and then other power. Inferno. Boom, and then just do it again. Just like that. Or whatever. Just like that. Now, I guess you can see that's my first rotation, however you want to put it. Now, how to incorporate signature? It's really simple. Just make sure before you activate signature, you have Inferno, which you should be. That way, when you activate signature, you get that buff of this one right here, Inferno Contract, and you can just start doing your damage. And then again, so what I would do is as soon as you activate signature, um, just right away do your rotation. One of the things that I would advise though when you activate signature is, um, for instance, I'm gonna well, I have to wait. How long does it wait? 20 seconds. So when you activate signature, because again, according to Vengeance. Um, Incarnate when you activate signature, it automatically activates in front of contract, which is really good buff. So, what you want to do is as soon as you activate signature, right away use your cooldown powers. And I'll show you how it looks like, but make sure you have inferno. And then, when you're going to use signature, use signature and then use the cooldown powers because that way they can do you know they can benefit this buff. So, that way, by the time the buff is over, you know, at least you 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 know utilize the buff as much as possible. So again, I'm going to show you my second rotation, which is the same thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to do when you activate when you activate signature. So it's very simple: activate Inferno after that signature, and then just do the cooldown powers, which is Judgment, Flay, Burn, and then Health and Buff, and then rotation back again. So here you go. So. And then do rotation again. Again, just like that, it's very simple looking. Now I'm still doing damage even though I'm not even doing anything. See that? <laughs> They're still going at it too, Inferno. So yeah, you want that because it does burn. So again, just to re reiterate, the first rotation, simple. Right away do Inferno and just stand within that area and then after that just do your powers inferno and then judgment and just keep using hellfire but inferno your you know judgment inferno flay inferno burn the treads inferno help from above move away and then just use the hellfire and then once your um one of the powers is available your cooldown powers are available inferno and then again now the second rotation is incorporating signature. Is make sure you have your sign your inferno act active, and when it is activated again, inferno signature, and then just use use your cool um, cooldown powers right away. That way they can benefit from the buff of inferno contract. Activate them, and then once they're in cooldown, when you use up when you use up all your cooldown powers, inferno, and then just keep using hellfire. And then once a cooldown power is available, do it again. Inferno, so forth and so forth. And yeah, this is again, this is a simple, simple repetitive build. But hey, it's, it's very effective. And you can definitely do a lot of damage. I mean, I was able to pass Cosmic Shot with no infinity points. And it was able to do it quite easily. As a matter of fact, you can, you can actually do Cosmic Trial without even having a maxed out Power Cosmic. I think I was at rank 3 when I first tried this build and I was still able to pass it. So, I mean, again, this rotation is pretty simple, a bit repetitive. But, I mean, if it works, it works. And it does quite a bit of damage. And, yeah, again, this is my build guide for Ghost Rider. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you have any requests for certain characters, leave it in the comment section below. If this video was helpful for you guys in terms of the build and rotation, leave it in the comment section below. Because I'm always interested to see if uh, my builds are useful. And yeah. And if you want to keep up to date with my, my channel with any new and current videos, again, subscribe to my channel. Not only does it help the channel grow, but also means a lot to me as well. And again, 
this is my build guide for Ghost Rider without using any infinity points. And on to the next one. Bye-bye.